What's wrong with you? We're having a really late start to the morning today. Uh, we're probably at least an hour behind. Uh, I have Lexi today. And uh, I also have a meeting at Douglas, so I'm gonna have to drop her off for about an hour to take care of that. So, busy day, off to a late start. Let's see what happens. Right, buddy? We're so late, we've gone the goldfish route. But at least we got Ty's lunch finished. I think you need to put that on the other foot, buddy. Other foot. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. We're running late today. Let's go, guys. Some ducks were crossing the road as we left our complex. Of course we waited. All right, Ty, time to go. So now I'm dropping off Lexi and Jackie to my parents' place. Typically I would not do that because Lexi has a lot of energy. Lexi uh, encourages Jackie to do a lot of crazy things at my parents' house which makes it impossible for them to keep him under control because they are old. But it's only for a couple hours while I have a chance to get some work done. And then uh, Lexi will be heading off to gymnastics after, so I'll be taking care of picking her up after she's done there when I come back from my meeting at Douglas. So I'm gonna make the most of the time that I have to get as much done as possible. Okay, remember, not too crazy today. That's done. Let's get to work. I forgot to film an ending for yesterday's vlog, so here it is. When Lexi was born, it was just me and her, basically. We played together, I was uh, at home at the time, working from home, and uh, it was just me and her. We would go out together, uh, we would uh, shop together, we would do grocery shopping. It's much more easy to handle one child than it is three children. You get to treat her like a person, uh, rather than cattle now. It's like herding cats right now. And, you know, I had, had more of a relationship with her, one-to-one. -one. You know, I, I've missed that opportunity to connect with her. And having that extra time on Monday and Tuesday where we went to Ikea, we organized uh, her, her room yesterday, uh, and just being able to see how far she's come along as a, as a human being. Uh, heck, she even does, does uh, laundry folding better than my wife, so uh, that, that, that's pretty cool. And she's quite a bit more organized than I was when I was a, a, a young lad. So um, just seeing how, how she's grown up is, is, is pretty cool. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love my boys and everything like that, but man, uh, my daughter is my number one. Uh, she always will be. Of all of them, I think she has the, the most potential to really shine. My fun bros will also be able to shine one day. Um, but you know, their sister, she's, uh, she's pretty bright. Okay, I'm off again to Douglas College to meet up with the group that is uh, representing Encompass, a nonprofit that does a whole range of things that I will be finding out a little bit more from the group and their findings. The reason why I'm meeting up with them is because they've come up with a video idea to execute for their clients. So hopefully I'll be able to guide them through that process to get to a script and a storyboard that we could potentially shoot. Just finished up with our group at Douglas College. They were representing, uh, they are representing uh, Encompass, which is an organization that uh, has a whole range of different services from people that are pregnant, uh, youth, uh, homelessness, drug addicts, um, you name it, uh, they take care of it. The nonprofit doesn't suffer from is a lack of clients. They always have new clients coming in. Uh, they seem to feel that you know some of the uh, some of the staff were not as motivated as they should be because they're helping people every day. They are 
keeping people off the street. They are making sure that families stay together. They're doing all sorts of really amazing things that seems like uh, the staff have just forgotten their purpose. The other thing that we figured out is that they are taking in uh, gifts and donations that are not monetary. So they've actually ended up with uh, an overabundance of these types of gifts that are taking up a lot of room inside uh, their facility and they can't even uh, store them. After you handle them uh, a couple of times, after you pay for storage and whatnot, that they might end up costing the company more than they should be earning in, in donations. And they just want to increase their donations by 5%. And I think that, you know, between all of us, we came up with this idea that maybe, you know what, we should be asking for money. But in a very nice way. They've gone from uh, some very basic information to finding out that you know the company might need a, a cultural uh, pick-me-up, uh, a, a quick espresso shot, validation for all the work that they do for and all the great work that they do for so many people in in their in their local community. And now I'm going to head home and uh, try to get another maybe hour of work done until I pick up my daughter from gymnastics, and then after that I've got to pick up uh, the the Fung Bros and. Uh, figure out something for dinner for them. So uh, I'm going to get to it. Having Ikea hot dogs for lunch. No, they're not the best hot dogs on the planet. They're not even remotely close. But they are the best hot dog for 75 cents on the planet. That Ikea hot dog tasted like rice. And believe me, I know a thing or two about rice. Let me tell you. All right, got a little bit of work done. Fired off some emails. Time to pick up my daughter. In case you haven't figured it out yet, that's Lexi back there. The Fung Bros are back. With their top five reasons why daddy is the best, right? Yeah. Yeah? Right. Right? Number one? Number one. Okay, so no fancy cooking tonight, but I did make a uh, wonderful ravioli lasagna, some fried sausage, and some garlic bread. Okay, it's time for me to go to bed. That means you too. Good night. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you again. Bye.